for this lecture and focuses on um, one of the most important quantity or function in survival analysis uh, hazard function and a, a few other uh, related uh, functions and quantities. Okay? The most important concept in survival analysis is time, that is time to event. And when we use time to event as uh, the quantity to be uh, modeled or predicted, um, here is a little bit technical. Then we have what is called accelerated failure regression model, which we won't get into in this class. Okay, but that's one quantity. Another quantity that's often uh, modeled or predicted is hazard function. Okay, and usually when we have a hazard function or hazard rate as our uh, uh, response quantitative interest, then usually we have proportional hazard regression model, okay? And the hazard function a lot of times is also called the instantaneous failure rate, okay? So to begin with, um, let's first talk about the cumulative uh, distribution function or CDF of T. Now T here refers to, to time to event. So here, we have to make some assumption about the distribution of time. And here we just, uh, you know, pick any generic uh, distribution uh, function. Now let's call it F of T, uppercase F of T. And it's density function, probability density function, PDF is lowercase F of T, which is equal to the partial of uppercase T, right? With respect to time dt here, okay? So again here, uh, lowercase f of T is the probability density function of time, okay? And the uppercase f of T is the cumulative density function. Here, we have to make some, you know, distribution assumption about, uh, the time to event variable, our response variable. For example, we can assume, you know, um, here we have exponential uh, distribution, okay? Or we could have Weibull distribution, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And let's continue. The probability that the duration of spell length that is time to event is less than T is defined, is defined as uppercase f of t, okay? And it, it is equal to, and here, it is equal to the probability, the random variable time t, smaller than a specific time point, okay? Of course, we can use integral to calculate, or to express that probability. And here, uh, cumulative density function here is a real, um, probability, okay? And the probability that duration equals or exceeds T is defined as a survivor function, okay? Okay, so the survival, uh, survival function is defined as, or is denoted as uppercase S of T, and it is equal to, see that, the difference, right? So uppercase F of, F of T is equal to the probability that the random variable T or time to event is smaller than a specific time point. But here, the survival function is the probability that that random variable time T is greater or equal to a specific time. Thus, okay, the survival, survival function is equal to one minus the cumulative density function of time to event here. Okay. And uh, based on the previous equations, you know, the first and second equation and the equation in the previous slide, it can be shown that the partial of uppercase S of T with respect to uh, T, the time T, is equal to the negative of lowercase f of T. 
Remember that a lowercase f of t is what? Is the probability density function of time t. Now let's look at a specific mathematical definition of hazard function since this is such an important quantity that we're interested in. Okay, so hazard function. Uh, a lot of times it is also called instantaneous probability or instantaneous probability rate, or sometimes called the instantaneous rate of leaving a state conditional on survival time, T. And it is defined as uh, following a limit, okay? So we we'll have to condition this function on the fact that the random variable um, has survived to point time point t, right? So that's conditional on that fact. And we want to figure out the probability that uh, you know uh, the time to event uh, is going to be within the next uh, infinitesimal uh, interval, okay? Or the milestone event, you know, going to occur in the next you know, uh, immediate time interval, okay? Over the difference okay, of time. It is, you know, very small uh, uh, increment of time. And if we take a limit of that infinitesimal, uh, you know, amount of time uh, and let it approach zero, then we will get you know, the hazard function. So this is a very precise definition, mathematical definition of hazard function, okay? So let's disregard that uh, limit uh, for a moment and let's look at uh, the numerator, okay? Once we take out that condition and move under, let's say, that quantity into a um, uh, denominator, well, that quantity turns out to be what? turns out to be a survival function. And what's left in the numerator is a difference of two probabilities, right? Two probabilities, okay? To figure out that uh, the probability that my stone event is gonna occur in the next immediate moment, then we're gonna take a difference of two probabilities, that is two uppercase F, okay? Then what's in the denominator that is, you know, delta of t, that is, you know, very small amount of increment in time multiplied by the survival function. And if we take a limit of that, then what we'll get is, is the hazard function is equal to a ratio of the probability density function, that is f of x here, and the survival function, that is uppercase s of t. Well, since the partial of uppercase s of t, that is, you know, the partial of survival function with respect to time t here, okay, is equal to the negative of the probability density function that is lowercase f of t, then we can get uh, this following kind of uh, uh, complex equation here. That is, the hazard function is also equal to the partial excuse me, negative of uh, the partial of log of survivor function with respect to time t here. Okay. So what really uh, is the hazard function? Okay, in more substantive terms. Well, it is called the instantaneous probability of leaving a state conditional on survival time t. And it follows uh, this form, right? It is a ratio of, you know, the probability density function of time t and the survival function uppercase s of, s of t. And, uh, the hazard function, can be understood as the instantaneous rate or probability rate of failure and has a unit of one over t, that is one over time. 
Why? Well, what about unit for f of t? If you remember, for f of t in the numerator, it's a difference of probability, right? In the denominator, that's a difference in time, okay? And the unit for uppercase s of t, that is survival function is probability. So when we take a ratio of these two quantity, especially in terms of their substantive units, then the unit for hazard function h of t is one over time or time uh, inverse, okay? Time inverse, okay? So what really is f of t, okay? The, that is lowercase f of t, a probability density function. Well, if we think through the whole process, it is roughly the proportion of cases failing at time t, if you know, failure is, is our a milestone event. And what is survival function, if you remember? It is roughly the proportion of cases surviving at and past time t. So what really is h of t, uh, the hazard rate function or the uh, hazard uh, rate or hazard function? It is roughly the proportion of those fail at time t out of those surviving at and past time t, okay? In other words, in other words, the hazard function is uh, actually accounts per time. And some people call it probability rate. Some, uh, some people call it uh, in instantaneous rate and some people call it probability, but not a real probability and a quasi probability, pseudo probability. However, we can think of it as the probability of failure in substantive terms in a infinitesimally small time period between t, time t, specific time t, and t plus delta t. So that increment increase is uh, infinitesimally small, given that the subject has survived up till time t. So this is a conditional probability or conditional probability slash rate. 